Well, now to a story of treachery and deceit. From the outside, they looked like a happily married couple. But when Faisal had doubts and turned to a lawyer, his wife took their breakup to the next level. You're about to witness one of the most audacious attempts by a wife to frame her husband for domestic violence. She's dangerous, very dangerous. Watch how this woman astonishingly punches herself in the face, not once, but twice. Later telling police her husband bashed her. It's flipped my life upside down. I'm not the guy who I, was, who I used to be anymore. This is a story about temptation and treachery, a lover and a liar, where romance makes way for revenge with catastrophic consequences. Well, I haven't actually heard of a, of a scenario such as this, inflicting injury upon themselves in order to set up a scenario which results in someone else being charged. If love is blind, then Faisal only had eyes for asthma. She presented herself like she's a perfect girl on the planet. He met her through an online Muslim dating site and proposed soon after leaving Western Sydney to meet Asma in Morocco. However, while Faisal was hoping to return to Aussie with a life partner, he now believes Asma didn't share that dream. She's a greedy person. She's materialistic. The two officially tied the knot here last year and Faisal was hardly frugal in making his new bride feel at home. He worked two jobs, spending everything he earned on his wife, from Gucci tracksuits to leather jackets, rings, necklaces and shoes, holidays and fine dining, parties in Morocco and money wired back to Asma's family. A fawning Faisal says he was a good provider. All this travelling, going back and forth twice and three times and doing all the functions, receptions, engagement, jewellery, stuff, probably I'm be under 200,000. But Faisal says they were constantly arguing, and in April, he walked into an incredible sting when he came home from a night shift at Woolies. Yeah, it was all prepared for me, the whole crime scene. The unit had been ransacked. Faisal says Asma was waiting for him with this disturbing message. I entered and she just um, said to me that um, you think you are smart and you are talking to lawyers about me. Now see what I do to you. And she just ran. CCTV captures the bizarre events that followed. Asma runs from the apartment and into the lift. She presses the button, takes a few moments before the incredible Asma attack. She gives herself two uppercuts to her face and clutches her cheek. She then checks her handiwork in the mirror. Seemingly satisfied with her self-inflicted punishment, Asma eagerly waits for the lift door to open. She takes off down the hall and into the street to call police. Oblivious to what his wife had cooked up and concerned for her safety, Faisal also went to the police, where he was arrested and charged with assault. If convicted, he faced up to seven years behind bars. I didn't know that she went to that, she's going to go to that extent, go to the police and forget everything what I did for her and just ruin my life. In a follow-up sucker punch, Faisal says the police unwittingly helped Asma steal his things, which she had packed into these suitcases while he was being held at the station. But more importantly, Faisal's freedom was also about to be taken. Did you ever harm Asma? Never. I really loved her. Faisal spent 20 grand on a lawyer and trawled through hours of CCTV to find his get out of jail card. And once I saw this, I felt relieved that now the justice will be served. New South Wales police dropped the assault charges but never charged his estranged wife for making a false accusation, an offence which also carries a jail term of up to seven years. The question is, why not? The answer is, because if they do, they're going to be embarrassed by what they didn't do at first instance. Victims of crime advocate Howard Brown says 
It appears police failed to investigate Asmus assault claims properly and assumed Faisal was guilty from the outset. So when you realise that someone has made a false declaration to a police officer and you can prove that she made a false declaration, you then charge her with perverting the course of justice. Police haven't done that. Esma's statement to police is shocking. Faisal grabbed my throat with both hands and began to squeeze tight until the point I was unable to breathe. He punched me on my left cheek and with his fist. He has started to hit me everywhere with the belt. He was so violent to me. I thought I was going to die. Faisal suspects Asma's motive was an email she discovered he had sent to a visa migration agent. He says he wanted out of the marriage, which was potentially a threat to her ability to stay in Australia. What do you feel when you look back at these photos of her? Sad that I shouldn't have done that. <laughs> should have known better? Yeah, should have known better. Asma has since disappeared somewhere in Australia, leaving Faisal to deal with the fallout from false love. He's battling away in average shared accommodation to help pay off his debts. The hurt hubby now wants his estranged wife charged, held accountable and deported back to Morocco. I am the victim now. I got used and abused over and over again, mentally, financially, emotionally, you name it. I'm the victim. So she did that. Now it's her turn to face the consequences. Faisal says he's got a long road ahead before he's capable of finding love again, but says he's learned a valuable, albeit expensive, life lesson. If God shows you true colours of someone, don't try to paint a different picture. <laughs> Just stick with that, you'll end up like me. New South Wales Police are now reviewing all the evidence. We will let you know the outcome.